Pop wasn't going to be here. It was time to take a stand. Max Keeble? Put my eye on you, Max Keeble. Keeble! Max Cable's Big Move 2001 is directed by Tim Hill and stars Alex D. Land as Max Cable, Zena Gray as Megan, Jamie Kennedy as the Evil Ice Cream Man, and Larry Miller as the Principal. Oh, and Josh Peck as Robe. The film received mixed reviews, and with a 25 million budget, only gained 18 million. So it wasn't quite the profit they'd hoped for. I appreciated this movie much more as a kid, but as an adult, it still had moments to make me laugh. But obviously this movie wasn't trying to appeal to an older audience. I wish I could say this movie has something in it for everyone, but it really doesn't. It's upbeat and fast paced, where something is always going on, and trying eagerly to get to the next laugh. And it will for the kids watching, as it did for me. But there's no over their head adult jokes like we've seen before. And that might have been something that held the film back. And some of it may come off as trying too hard. There is however one aspect that does stand out to me, but it's not used enough throughout the film to make it feel grounded enough in that regard, which is standing up for your friends and also standing up for yourself against the bullies. Max Keeble finds out that he's moving, so taking advantage of a situation, he decides to get payback for all the wrong done to him and his friends, knowing he can't be held accountable due to his absence. But after all his big moves, he finds out he's actually not moving, so Max decides to set things right for his friends and step up against the bullies face to face. So I think that's a nice little moral for kids to follow, but it's not one that's presented up until the end of the movie. So what's going to happen during the rest of the running time? Well, food fights, people yelling, Cable! We've got Mr. McGoogles. Watching it now, there's a lot of moments that didn't make me laugh. But looking back on it as a kid, it did. And I'm like, I really thought that was funny. But there's still fun to be had. You'll see a lot of familiar faces, and you're already familiar with the movie and the story, so that's an automatic win coming from your childhood. Nostalgia always wins. I have the power. What's your thoughts on Max Keeble's big move? Does it still hold up today? Or was it just a phase? Do you remember Max Keeble's big move? If you grew up around the 2000s, you might have more respect for it. We are no better than the bullies if we do exactly what the bullies do. I mean, we all, we need to stand together and make our school a better place. I was around 11 when this movie came out. I was already maturing into more serious titles. I still really enjoyed this movie at the time, and some of it I still do. So like most Disney films, it reminds me and all of us to be a kid at heart.